Peak of the week Wednesday. It is a beautiful one for today. Gorgeous conditions across much of the area. A little warmer out there and warmer for the next day or so, but then we drop off. And as we go into the final weekend of winter, we should be seeing again the possibility of some fairly chilly numbers, but at least it will be on the dry side with sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday. But it's going to feel a lot more like the season should, not the milder conditions we've had over the last couple of days. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onick from WD. DEF TV News 12 in downtown Chattanooga. Thanks for joining me tonight for our Wednesday edition of Weather Overtime for the Ides of March, March the 15th, very much on the quiet side and going to be mild for the next day or so again. Not too bad on the temperatures. We managed to make the upper 50s. That's still about 7 degrees below normal for this time of the year and we are still ahead for the month and the year by a fraction of an inch. We'll be picking up some more rainfall by Friday. Doesn't look like a lot of activity out there, but we will continue to see the potential for more of those rain showers coming our way. Not too long, less than a month until the home Chattanooga Lookouts take on the visiting Mississippi Braves downtown at AT&T Field, 7.15 p.m. on Tuesday the 11th. So stay tuned for more on the updates of the day there. Island Cove Marina and Resort, gorgeous sunshine as we go into the evening hours. A little bit of a breeze rippling the water surface and a few people out and about on the lake surface. Us again, pretty nice for right now. We'll be seeing some nicer conditions in the next few days. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. Thanking Elizabeth Boss for a nice view of the trees at the Cracker Barrel in Athens, Tennessee. That's our Wednesday West Shore Home weather window picture of the day. If you've got pictures, drop them to our social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or email them directly to pictures at WDEF.com and you could be our next West Shore home weather window picture of the day. Our next storm system is getting organized across the Intermountain West and that's going to be swinging our way giving us the potential for some more storms out there. Our latest nor'easter is wrapping up across the northwestern Atlantic. That's going to be jetting off into around the northern Atlantic and no longer a problem for us. In the meantime we've got high pressure, a lack of clouds and some fairly cool and dry conditions out there. Chances of rain moving in from around Des Moines down to about Little Rock, but not really seeing much of any showers coming up anytime soon. It's going to take a little bit for this high pressure to leave the area and moisture to be drawn up from the Gulf of Mexico ahead of this storm system coming on through. And that's where we'll see the chances of rain and a limited possibility of some thunderstorms out there. But again, looking at not much going on. Frosty again tomorrow morning. A few clouds drifting on through. Uh, the computer with the white and the gray colors showing a few clouds making their way on through the area, but really not much more than that. Clouds will be on the increase through the day, and then temperatures quite mild, right about a typical late, mid to late March temperatures for about the mid 60s or so. Then we get into Friday morning, very early Friday morning, more chances of rain well back to our west as we see that rain work, work its way a little closer to us back in the mid 50s, maybe close to 60 if we get enough sunshine early during the day. But that depends on how fast this rain comes on through and it looks like it's going to be hitting right about sunrise. So probably a pretty cool day coming up and those chances of rain and thunder may stick around right on through dismissal time for the kids Friday afternoon. Those kids that don't have spring break this week and a pretty cool couple of days after that. Notice the temperatures by about Friday afternoon. We've got numbers back in the lower 40s back toward Middle Tennessee and north and northeastern portions of Alabama. So some pretty cool numbers coming our way. So for tomorrow, again, upper 50s to lower 60s, not too shabby across the area. Numbers again will actually be about a category warmer than what you saw on that. That's an automatic forecast uh, graphic we just showed you. Freeze warning in effect. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We will see the potential again of rain, possibly some thunderstorms for the wearing of the green on St. Patrick's Day. Doesn't look like too bad for right now. And again, no severe weather taking place for the weekend. A bit on the cooler side, way below normal on Saturday, back in the 40s for highs on Sunday. And it looks to be a fairly dry end to winter, the last full day of winter on Sunday. 
back to sunshine and again temperatures back in the upper 40s. Then we see spring finally make its way on through. Spring will have sprung at 524 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Monday and then our next chances of rainfall coming in both Tuesday and Wednesday as we see temperatures well above where they have been back in the upper 50s to the lower 60s. So yes, there will be chances of rain. No, at this point in time, all the way through the course of the next several days, we're not seeing anything way of severe weather so very good news there we do have again the potential of some freezing conditions another killing frost possible tonight could be dangerous again for anybody in agriculture horticulture out there but we're not seeing anything issued for the tennessee river valley westward into the cumberland plateau also the appalachians not seeing a lot of problem there so for the tennessee river valley that's where we're seeing the best possibility of frost in the freeze warning that's in the purple shaded counties in the blue counties a freeze what that's supposed to be a frost advisory taking place uh, into and around southern Tennessee and northern and western parts of Alabama more sporadic areas of frost here and in the morning please remember if you're getting up to make certain that you are getting out to the school bus for the kids getting the car ready to go scrape the entire windshield clean that whole periscope driving thing where you clean off just enough to see out the window in front of you that ain't safe. Scrape the side windows. Get the back window cleared off or defrosted. Scrape your rear view mirrors. Get your defrost working. Make certain you can see properly. Let's be careful out there as we go throughout the next couple of days with that frost and more coming up again through the weekend. So don't forget to make certain your windshields are clear on Sunday. Don't forget you can find out more visiting with our weather personnel, including yourself, my, yours truly. You can find out more at WDEF.com slash weather through our weather in the classroom segment. This is from Rock Spring Elementary in Rock Spring, Georgia, about a week or so ago, talking to the pre-K and kindergarten classes. Again, for the younger kids, we usually have a shorter presentation because of attention spans and, again, making kids sit still for an entire hour, not exactly what works too well. So we have more for the older students, including math, science, technology, physics, things like that going on. So if you'd like to know more about our Food City Weather in the Classroom program, we have a segment available on our What I Want to Know show that's coming up, again, that's already posted. That's on our my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to learn more about what our Weather in the Classroom segment is all about, check out YouTube for more information and you can get to my social media pages by going to WDEF.com slash weather for more. Concentrating on the planet, again, we are responsible for what goes on to our home in space. And coming up in 10 days is your opportunity to start some good habits, continue them if you've already been doing them, or remind your neighbors about how easy it is to make certain we all use less energy. It's called Earth Hour. You can find out more at earthhour.org about how on Saturday night, coming up in 10 days you can turn off lights turn off appliances that you don't need and then practice that throughout the rest of the year and throughout the rest of your life to turn off devices lights situations that you do not need power for americans do a very good job of walking out the door leaving the light on because it's too much trouble to turn off or because oh the next person might need it and that'll just make it easier for them yeah but that costs energy and that makes pollution and that pollutes our planet and we have no other place to go to so find out more at earthhour.org more about this and a ton of other stuff available on my social media pages out there on numerous locations mastodon counter social instagram youtube facebook reddit and find me for a game of chess on lichess.com Org or on chess.com. My handle is my amateur radio license if you'd like to find me there. Once more, more information at wdef.com slash weather and write me a line directly if you got questions, concerns, complaints, if you absolutely must at aonic at wdef.com. Chip Chapman will be up bright and early 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the morning show. Updates for more about going on there for your forecast and of course more information available at our website wdef.com slash weather. We keep that updated several times a day to make certain you are in the know out there. Thank you specifically for joining us for Weather Overtime. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. More to come at WDEF.com and of course more tonight on News 12 and throughout the rest of the week and the weekend on our website. Thank you again for joining us for Wednesday's edition of Weather Overtime. <laughs>